Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, another lesson on adding objects to photos and removing the backgrounds. However, we're not going to focus on the magic wand tool this time. We're going to uh, go a little bit further and we're going to experiment using the quick selection tool and the select and mask features. And we're going to have a little bit of fun playing around with those tools there. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we have a, a picture of a beach with a bunch of dogs and I suppose let's add a, another dog to the photo seems to fit in quite well so I'm going to paste in this other dog here I've copied from the internets a ah, fine looking animal and let's just zoom in here and I can go down here to the quick selection tool here we are so I'm going to select on that and this brush is actually a little bit too big here so I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to also hold down right click and move my mouse to the left. As you can see, if I hold down Alt and right click, move my mouse to the left and the right, uh, it'll make the diameter brush bigger and smaller. So I'm going to get a little bit of a small brush there. And then I'm going to start kind of painting and tracing out the dog. Uh, don't worry if everything's not perfect the first time. We're going to do a little bit of refining in a minute. But uh, as you can see, this is kind of a nice step between Magic Wand Tool and fully tracing using the Pen Tool. There's a bit too much there. Let's control backspace, make my brush a little bit smaller. And um, yeah, not a bad first start for the dog here. So as you can see, we selected a little bit too much, this area between his legs. Might want to clean up that area between his little front legs there. So let's zoom in a little bit here. And uh, let's make the brush a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to subtract this selection. So if you want to subtract a selection, just hold down the Alt key. And I'm holding down the Alt key here. And I'm going to subtract the selection here between his back legs. Get rid of that, Let's zoom in a little bit more, and I'm going to re-add the selection here. And let's subtract this, and this will take you a little while, so just be prepared uh, to spend a bit of time kind of cleaning this up a little bit. Let's add a little bit more there, add a little bit more there. Okay, it looks okay there. I'm going to hold down spacebar, and I'm going to navigate around the photo a little bit. Add on the front of his leg there. Let's zoom in. Make that brush smaller and hold down Alt again. And let's just remove this little area here. That looks pretty good. Zoom out again. And let's just continue navigating around the photo. We're going to lose his whiskers there. Uh, another lesson will show you how to keep aspects like that. But for today, we're not going to worry about it. And let's remove this little flap of the ear here. Not personally a huge fan of dogs, but uh, some of you might be. Alright, let's clean it up around the ear. Add a bit more here. So I'm just constantly painting. If you're making any mistakes, Control-Z is your friend. Or you can just remove it with the Alt key. So let's, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. A little bit more there. Oh, big mistake here. I'm going to hold on Alt and paint over that area like that. Add that in. A little more right here in his eyes. And that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so now we've made a basic selection of the dog. And then what we're going to do up here is we're going to go up to Select and Mask. If you don't see Select and Mask in here, you might be working in a different workspace. Uh, so you can always go up to the Select window. And you can go Select and Mask this way. Alt, Control, R is the shortcut key. And when we click Select a Mask, uh, depending on if it's the first time you've used it, yours might look a little bit different. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the view mode, and I'm going to switch it over to Onion Skin. Okay? And with Onion Skin, you can raise and lower the transparency, as you can see what it does. And I'm going to bring it up around into the mid-60s there. Um, a lot of your shortcut keys aren't going to operate the same when you're in Selected Mask. So uh, right now I have the Zoom key selected. I'm going to hold down Left Click and kind of zoom in and out a little bit. Spacebar still works fine. And what we're going to do now is what you'll kind of notice. Is you see this little kind of like a jagged edge along the dog here. Okay. So, and that is just a product of the quick selection tool. Um, so we can take a few steps to kind of clean that up. It's actually not too bad over there. Uh, so what you could try is messing around some of these global refinement sliders. Uh, so you can start by doing a little bit of smoothing. That takes out some of the jaggedies. That looks quite a bit better, actually. 
Uh, you can add a touch of a feather to it, just to soften the edge just a little bit. Uh, contrast helps a little bit. I don't like it that high. And then if you feel your edge is a little bit of out of whack, you can always shift it, shift the edge in or shift it out a little bit. I generally like to knock mine in by a, a few percent just to kind of tighten anything up. Uh, and that is looking pretty good all around the edges there. Not too bad. So let's just uh, zoom out there, reposition our camera. Okay, so um, let's change the view mode again to on layers, which is going to show us what our image is going to kind of look like with the background. and. Uh, that's not looking too bad. Uh, another little interesting setting here under the output settings is decontaminate colors. Um, sometimes you actually get some pretty good results for this. We'll be experimenting with this when we're uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, show hair, when we're removing backgrounds with a lot of errant hair. Um, but you're welcome to play around with this a little bit, kind of see what it does. Uh, you can kind of see some uh, effects down here at the legs. Right, so it's actually kind of helping here along the edge. It's removing a little bit of that greeny. You'll notice this is a little. Uh, little green tinge we got along the edge, so if you actually contaminate the colors, it is cleaning that up a little bit there, so that's not too bad. Maybe we'll keep that in uh, in play for here. So let's zoom out, reset the camera, looks good, and let's click OK. And if you're going to notice, uh, it's going to create an original copy of the original layer right here, we can see, and our new masked out layer. Here's our mask, here's our original. And then now we can just grab the original, we can move it around, uh, and if you wanted to, then you could resize it with Control-T, you know, uh, Shift-Alt, and let's scale that down, move it around, maybe this dog's going to go pounce on that unsuspecting child. That's an evil dog, so we'll kind of put him there behind, the, behind this little kid here. And then, of course, we have a lot of other glaring issues. The colors are off, the lighting's off. You might want to add some dust and scratches, uh, add some noise to the dog here to kind of clean it up in the, in the filter gallery. Um, but these are all values you can kind of uh, play around with to blend the dogs in, and those will be a lesson for another day. But uh, there we go. Not too bad. A little quick way to remove a background color. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you all later.